Hey guys, welcome to another video, another How to Get Better at Bed Wars guide. So, we're in our game on a, on a kill here, uh, probably my favorite map. We're going to take out our first rush, um, sooner rather than later, uh, just so that we can, oh my, okay, he's good, did not like that, um, we should have tried to break his bed first. Um, oh crap. Alright, we kind of messed that up, but whatever. Hopefully he doesn't have a pick. That guy's good. He's also cheating. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. We're doing a terrible job with this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, okay, he died as well. Also, Gray set our base. No! Okay, perhaps this is not the best <laughs> uh, time for this. Um, I'm gonna grab two more. You gotta get the freak out of here. You gotta grab M's. That's like the first thing you want to do when you're trying to clutch. Um, you try and go for gray. I think that's a good idea. And grab the rest of our M's a little bit later. Oh, we almost did not make that jump. Right. Um. by Pearl. Should be able to grab a couple more M's here. Uh, it's Gray? No, Gray's dead. Okay. Okay, he keeps falling into the void, but I don't know if that's actually because he's bad at bridging or because... He's doing so on purpose, because he was bridging kind of crazily just a, like a second ago. Is he trying to come to us? No. He's going the other way. Alright, so th the other thing that you want to do is grab diamonds as quickly as you can, because diamonds are an invaluable resource that makes you both easier and better at killing people, and just harder to kill in general. So, um, okay. It's just us and and uh, Aqua here, but we are going to be at a huge advantage because we're going to have brought two. Probably going to buy diamond armor. Diamond armor can be good when you need a clutch, and then we'll probably get those two as well. We need a better sword though, better than the one we have. I mean, it's not terrible, but okay. When you are by yourself with just one other person and neither of you has a bed or even if you have a bed, and the other person doesn't. One thing you can do is grab emeralds and buy a tracker, because that will allow you to know where they are and when. Okay, so he survives that. However, he is leaving, and he does not have any diamonds. He's gonna fireball us. Okay, he's going to try and fireball jump that way. That's fine. We have enough now for... Prot 3. Prot 3 will make you very, very strong, very hard to beat. And also, one thing, another thing I should mention is that it's a really good idea to get a pearl. Because if you get, if you have a pearl, then even if somebody hits you off or something, um, you'll be way stronger. Look at this guy, he's do doing like no damage to us because we have prop 3 diamond armor. GG's, that is how you win a Bed Wars game. Well, I didn't expect to be making that video so soon, when, you know, losing our first rush like that. But my tips are, get away as fast as you can, because you don't want to be fighting whoever's, you know, whoever just broke your bed. Get to mid, try and collect the first round of M's, 
So that will make you much stronger. You can get better armor, you can get a better sword, you can get a pearl for if you need to, you know, if you fall into the void for whatever reason or need to get away, then that will save you. It's basically like an extra life. Uh, or of course, potions, if you need to break people's beds and whatever. Usually you want to avoid taking fights because, you know, every fight you take is a chance to lose the game. If you're not fighting anybody and you're just getting stacked, then, you know, it'll be much easier to actually beat people and, and win. And also make collecting diamonds a priority because he had zero diamond upgrades, no sharp, no prot. We had sharpness and prot three. So even if he had comboed us, it would have taken an, like a 10 hit combo for us to actually lose. And so we were practically destined to win that one. So we got stacked enough. And if you see any opportunities to actually let me just go into the replay so i can show you what i'm talking about okay so first of all that is not a legit bridge that's 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 just cheating so we're gonna we're gonna report him but we were unlucky enough to have greg come after us which he broke the bed right as we hit him away from it which is unfortunate um but we had to get out of there really fast because Fortunately, Gray was not immediately next to us, so that gave us a little bit of extra time, but collecting M's is, is your best bet. Now, like I said, we ha we saw a window of, of opportunity. Gray was over there. Um, I didn't think he was going to die anytime soon, so I knew we had some time to try and break that bed. So if you see an opportunity that you don't want to pass up to break somebody's bed or something, even if you've lost your bed, that is okay. But just be wary that the more aggressive you play, the more risky you play, the higher chance you'll have of actually losing so um, just keep that in mind oh my gosh not legit at all if you see somebody double shifting like this when they bridge you know he's using safe walk watch this this is not not a legit bridge he's double shifting anyway so as a general rule you want to be getting uh, emeralds as quickly as you can um, one of the first things I usually buy when I have emeralds is a pearl, if I don't have a bed, because it gives you, you know, a second chance. If somebody's rushing you and you're about to lose, um, or if you fall bridging or, you know, somebody fireballs you off, if you have a pearl, that will save you from your doom, ultimately. So, this is, uh, our cheater trying to kill us here. We were so stacked, though, he pretty much died in, like, four hits. Anyway. <laughs> If you like this video leave a like comment and subscribe the best advice i have for you is practice and practice and practice um if you play solos a lot you'll be used to playing without a bed um, so that will get you very good if you have any other questions or any, any video ideas anything you'd like to see me try out let me know in the comments and i'll catch you in the next video bye